What's going on everybody? This is Super Nintendo Mike here and welcome back to some more Let's Replay whatever, whatever it's called, I think that's what it's called <laughs> Let's Replay Pokemon Diamond version In the last episode we started off our adventure again after several months Probably longer than that, so something like that And we are back, hopefully for good Anyways, we made it to Jube Life City with our three Pokemon If I'm, if I show the bottom screen you can see our new little watch thingamajig Shows our Pokemon's health, we got the Quick Claw, we talked to some people in the town, and we caught up to myself, Mikey. <laughs> and, uh, now we're gonna go to the right. Oh, there's me! What, what, what do I want? What do I want from this girl? Hey Alex, tell me which you got a little tougher. Do you need to ask? Of course, I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Uh-oh. <gasps> Did I expect this to happen? Yes, unfortunately. This LP's not blind, of course. I've played this game a handful of times. Anyways. Mikey, which is me. I start off with a Starly. Level 7. Not bad. Same level as Ariel. Um, as long as he doesn't... Okay, I'm quicker, which is good. As long as he doesn't use quick, quick attack, I think we'll be okay. But he's probably going to. Okay, Growl. Okay. Now, with major battles, I'm not going to sped them up unless they keep spamming Growl. And stuff like that, like I said, with uh, the other trainers. The main, well, not main trainers, just regular trainers in the game. So if you're just going to keep spamming Growl, I might as well just keep Ariel out. Because Ariel's going to be weak against his, or my, <laughs> I can't to say his, <laughs> so you don't get confused. His second Pokemon. Because his second Pokemon is a little bit more beefy. You may have seen, if you have remember from the... Let's replay episode one and, well, the first official episode one that I did back in 2013, I want to say, was it, was it 12? I think it was 12. Man, that's such a long time ago. Um, I think I used Turtwig, but I want to make it a challenge. I think Piplup is the most difficult to use out of the three. In my opinion, I think Turtwig is the easiest to use, and then Chimchar is in the middle, because, well, it take He's pretty weak compared to the others, but once you get pretty good moves, he's alright. So. With his Starly down, Turtwig. Since I have the water type, he's going to have the weaker one against me, so I am going to actually send out Electro Cat since Ariel's attack has been weakened. I'm going to resort to uh, Happy Feet. <laughs> I'm going to resort to Happy Feet if that if that has to come down. Level nine. Ooh, I'm under level a little bit, but Intimidate, which is always a good thing. So Turtwig's yeah, Turtwig's pretty tanky, which isn't good. Hmm. Let's see, I'll sped this up a little bit to see what happens. Okay. I don't think... Well, actually, he should know Razor Leaf. Because I think Chimchar learns the moves the, the fastest by one level, but is still the weakest. And I believe Turtwig and Piplup learn the moves at the same time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did a quick attack. And I'm quicker than a turtle. Well, that's a really good thing to know. <laughs> because I would be in deep trouble if I wasn't fast and if a bird was not faster than a turtle. But yet again, it's only one level difference, so it should be pretty obvious that I'm faster. If I was like level six, then probably not. And you're just gonna keep using withdrawal, you just go into submission? Like, seriously? You're gonna go down here. Maybe not. Uh, you can use another one? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, you already lost, so... <laughs> it's pretty silly. Okay. And you are down, and Ariel's gonna get a ton of experience. Oops, that's cut in half because uh, I switched. Wing attack, sweet. And Electro Cat's probably gonna level up. 
level 8. So our Pokemon are pretty well balanced right now. Usually I have a tough time doing that early on in games, but when emulating it's pretty easy because you can sped up like this. And when you're playing the handheld, it's not as easy because everything is so much slower paced. I need to switch. Okay, I have Y set as D. I have A set as A, B set as S, X set as D, and Y set as F, I believe. Or no, X is F. For some reason, why did I set it like that? Whatever. Uh, I guess I, I could I even... Good thing that's stereo. <laughs> oh no, I probably messed up the recording by doing that. No. I'm so sorry. I wanna get Happy Feet to level 10. Audio, please don't mess up. Please don't. <laughs> I'm begging you. Because doing this makes LP so much more worthwhile. But, uh, yeah. Eh, take on this trainer. Got a Bidoof. Gonna use that bubble. He didn't even attack me once. A Zubat. Interesting. Alright, got 80 bucks, 80 Poké Dollars, which is actually Yen, if I remember correctly. Got a Pokeball. Sweet. And take her on, because you know what? Why not? Oh, no, I don't think you can. Alright, thank you for that helpful hint. Thank you. Ooh, let's see some trainer tips. Use energy, PP, blah blah blah, red for the Pokemon Center. Okay. We're always together. Alright, bug type Pokemon, Cricketot. Oh, jeez, I had bite. I didn't even realize that. Cool beans. Well then, oh. I don't want Nabra. No game. Thank you. <laughs> no thanks. I forgot it knew by. That's right. That's the only good thing about that Pokemon, really. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a piece of junk. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, game freak, but it's true. She a trainer? Yep. What's she got? She got a Bidoof. Nah, Badoo. Badoos are alright, but I think they evolve into Roselia's eventually. Oh no, Roselia's second. And then it's Roserade. Right. Get out of your stupid bird. Learn Charge. Ooh. Let's face you. Oh, d ooh, my chop. Not doing so much damage to me. Damage to me. I already have a Shanks, no thanks game. I think there's an item down there, so... Let's see. I think charge is only for electric type moves, let's see. Oh, special defense, but... Keeps using physical attacks, so... Yeah, there's something back there. You know what? I probably should have bought repels. Oh, boy. Oh, I almost made it. Probably should have went down. Oh, come on. I got cheese right there. All right. Let's go into route 203. Into the Cave of Wonders. Uh, so good thing I have a water type Pokemon here because these guys have... Oh, he's going to give me something. All right. Cause these guys have nothing but uh oh you are an electric type good sir i thought they had oh no this cave doesn't have the the uh oh grass grass this cave doesn't have the um rock types it's um outside the cave that's right here's a wing attack wing attack's a pretty good move he's a tackle finishing him off all right, so you made it to Orberg City. How do you train if you don't have a single gym badge? Other trainers will look down on you like a typical total noob. Oh, Nintendo using the word noob in the video game? What? What is this sorcery? 
Huh? There's someone there. Hey, it's me. Huh? Oh, it's you, Alex. You finally got here. You're slow like always. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> Why would I say such a thing? Alright, so you have to go find the gym leader. I accidentally uh, hit that again. Uh, let's buy some propels. Is it you that sells them? They're not pro repels. Propel? What? That's the name of a drink. What am I doing? What's wrong with me? Well, I only got one right now, so that's not the best. But at least I have a water type to protect me from those those evil rock type Pokemon. All right, so the Pokemon gym leader is going to be down here. And I'm actually going to slap on one of those because it can get a little tedious down here. Only 100 steps, so that's not the best. Can I take on this guy? Remember when Rex that coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them? You may be challenged to battles, haha. Ha. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like the music down here, I might not sped it up. Mainly because I have a propel. Chop macho. Chop chop. Don't tell me to chop chop. Oh. What's the secret, buddy? You gonna tell me? No? Why don't you tell me a secret, man? Come on. <laughs> Alright. Got him a chop. Let's... Oh, that's right. They have fighting type. What, what game am I thinking of, then? I thought... I thought all these guys... Oh, actually, I'll keep up, Piplup. I thought all these guys had uh, rock types. Here's the gym leader. In move rock smash. Oh, yeah. That'd be me. Now, I don't think there's anything important on the left side except for that Pokeball. There's the Geodude's one shot, one kill. What's the deal? And an Onyx. Boom, baby. So at level 13, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, that's right. Escape rope. Uh, don't mind if I do. Now that was witchcraft right there. <laughs> oh, man. So we have Quick Claw and Piplup is level 13. So that is uh, P good. So let's explore the town really quick. And then I'll end off the episode and uh, the next one will take on the gym leader. So let's just... Uh, there's stuff up here. There's something up here. I thought that would have been a hidden item. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Get a little bit more buffy. Only a Pokeball, seriously? Of course, of course, of course. Alright. So let's check out this house. Oh, is this what I'm thinking of? No, it's not him. Uh, the underground segments are pretty cool in this game, which we'll get into uh, in the next town. Probably in a couple episodes, I think. I don't know if it's this town that you get the the, the mining gear, whatever it's called. Different personalities. Different colored Pokemon. What? There's a different colored Pikachu? No way! Pikachu is nostalgic for being yellow. A yellow rat. Or mouse. Probably rat. I don't know. Turn a Pokemon to mine. I could have sworn there's someone that you could trade. Like, you could trade something for Machop or whatever. Duskball. Okay. I believe that's good in caves. Why would you name your Psyduck yellow? That's not nice. 
Let's see what. He's confused that he's a duck. <laughs> he is confused. Oh gosh. <laughs> when must you do that? Come on, it's got to be this building. Yes, my chop. No, that's a terrible idea. Why would I do that? I would rather keep the Machop, to be honest. I mean, I don't know where you can find a Machop this early in the game. And I don't even know how trades work exactly. I think, uh... I think you... Get them depending on the level that you trade. So, like, if you trade a level 5, you get a 5 back. If you trade a level 10, you get a 10 back, and so on. I think that's how it works in, in these games. Not entirely sure. Or maybe it's just this game, or... I don't know. I'm thinking crazy. But I think that's how it works because where are you going to find a Machop this early on in the game? Like, I don't even know if you can find a Machop out in the grass that's just north of here. But, uh, yeah. Did we check out this house? Yes, we did. Alrighty, guys. So, in the next episode, we're going to take on Roark, I think his name is, and get our very first gym leader badge thingamajig. <laughs> our very first gym badge. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.